Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome. It's now time for the featured bout of the evening. From the four corners of the world, to the four corners of this ring, the fight starts now! Another sunny day in the Welsh capital of Cardiff, and we are now just 24 hours away from fight night in the capital. Huge opportunity for the Welsh wizard Joe Cordina against the IBF super featherweight world champion Kenichi Agawa. Live on the zone tomorrow night at the Motor Point Arena around the world and well the, the crowds are filtered in to see the fighters weigh in uh, Darren Barker we we're just talking about Joe Cordina this week a, a huge moment for him tomorrow night but he seems to be dealing with the pressure and the expectation and everything that comes with this opportunity uh, in his stride absolutely first of all I want to say what a great atmosphere yeah, okay. in this city hall brilliant you can see what it means yeah. to the city of Cardiff you know they're desperate for their man Joe Cordina to be the, the latest Welsh champion but yeah you're right Joe has seemed really relaxed I mean, what an apprenticeship he served. Represented his country, travelled all around the world to all the major tournaments, hasn't put a foot wrong in the pros. So I think if you're Team Joe Cordina, it's now or never. Yeah. This is the moment we find out how good Joe Cordina is. Certainly. Um, a good friend of his, childhood friend Monique Bucks, makes her pro debut uh, tomorrow night. She's the first fighter uh, to weigh in uh, with uh, her dance partner, Esther Koneka, tomorrow night live on the zone. We'll be here on Before the Bell around about 4.30 to talk you through these uh, with Barry Jones. But right now, the fighters are ready to weigh in. So let's hand you over without further ado to our master of ceremonies, as always, Mr. David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, it's great to see everybody here at City Hall in the capital city, Cardiff, Wales, for the official win for a big night of fights taking place here on Saturday night. It's all being brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing. It's a great fight card. It's sponsored by Betfred and JD Sports. We've got 10 fights on the bill. We've got three title fights. And of course, at the top, the Welsh wizard Joe Cordina goes against the current IBF Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Kenichi Ogawa. And speaking of world champions, Robbie Regan in the house, I saw him. We've got Joe Calzaghi out here, and uh, Joe Cordina is looking to uh, follow the path of these great Welsh fighters, Peerless Jim and others. So without further ado, let's go ahead and bring the fighters up to the stage at this time so they can face the scale and face each other. Our first contest, four rounds in the super middleweight division. Now making her way to the stage from the Czech Republic. She's a 17 fight veteran. Please welcome Esther Konečna. And her opponent now making her way to the stage. It'll be her first time as a professional to hit the scales. Please welcome from Wales, Buxy Monique Box. And now to the scale, Esther Konetsna. One sixty point six for Konexna. One sixty point six. And out of the scale, Buxy Monique Box. One sixty seven point one zero for Box. One sixty seven point one for Monique Box. Bucks v. Konetsna. Four round super middleweights matchroom boxing. So Esther Konetsna 
from the Czech Republic, the opponent for Monique Bucks on her debut uh, tomorrow night, around right about 4.30 live on YouTube. Myself, Darren and Barry Jones will be talking you through that one. Um, she played a lot of football for, for Cardiff, um, knows Joe Claudina well. She said she thought Joe would be a breakout football star at early doors. She said he's, he's that good. And any of you that watch Soccer AM top bins that he got first yeah, time, yeah. he would have loved that, Joe. But, um, Fluke. Yeah, she's, she, yeah, she's uh, known him a long, long time and uh, makes her debut super middleweight. Uh, tomorrow night, open the show before the bell. Uh, following her will be Ben Crocker, one of Gary Lockett's fighters up against Evgeny Varzem, who we've seen in action a few times on these shores in the last couple of months. Both fighters are ready to weigh in, so let's hand back over and uh, head back over to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest, four rounds in the welterweight division. Now making his way to the stage, he's a 37 fight veteran. He's fighting out of Southampton by way of Story of Skull. Please welcome Evgeny. Money boy, Vazum. Vazum. And his opponent now making his way to the stage. His young professional record thus far perfect. Three fights, three victories. One of them coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Swansea, Wales. Please welcome Ben Crocker. Crocker. Now to the scale, the money boy, Evgeny Vazum. One hundred and fifty one pounds, point nine five, one fifty one point nine five for Evgeny Vazum. And now to the scale, the undefeated Ben Crocker. One hundred and forty nine point eight five for Crocker. One forty nine point eight five. Crocker v. Vaza, four rounds, welterweights, matchroom boxing, DAZN, Cardiff, Wales. Tell you what, two massive welterweights there. So I remember uh, Crocker's second fight, Barry Jones and our friend Dave Rogers commentating on that one and, and commenting on how big Crocker was. Vaza a very big, solid welterweight yeah. too. Um, hasn't been stopped in, in a number of years only by JJ Metcalf in his tune up for the Leharaga fight. We know what kind of form he yeah. was in. Um, ben Crocker could, could pop a bit though. He can fight, he's a good fighter. He's nice, uh, tall, upright style, works well off the jab. He's busy with the ones and twos. He's a, he, he's, you know what? He's a very good fighter, a tidy fighter, and I think this is a great opportunity for him to shine in front of his own crowd. Great opportunity. Huge opportunity for uh, young Joe Morgan as well, another uh, Welsh prospect at 3 0. He's in against Rustem Fakulin uh, uh, tomorrow night, uh, third fight on before the bell. Both fights I'm hearing are ready to weigh in, so let's head back over to the stage. Our next contest, ladies and gentlemen, four rounds in the super lightweight division. Now making his way to the stage, he's a 39 fight veteran. He's fighting out of Southampton by way of Upa. Please welcome Rustam Fatkulum. Fatkulum. And his opponent now making his way to the stage, his young professional record thus far perfect. Three fights, three victories, one of them coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Aberdeer, Wales, please welcome Joe Morgan. Morgan. Now to the scale, Rustum Thakulum. One forty four point three zero for Fat Coulomb. One forty four point three zero for Rustum Fat Coulomb. And out of the scale, ladies and gentlemen, the young undefeated Welsh fighter, Joe Morgan.
143.75 for Joe Morgan, 143 pounds, 0. 0.75 for Joe Morgan. Morgan Fakulum, full round super lightweights, matchroom boxing, Cardiff Wales live on the zone. It's young Joe Morgan, 20 years of age from Murphy Tidal, same place as uh, Gavin Gwynn, who Joe Cordina fought a couple of years ago, and uh, who Morgan has been sparring uh, at uh, St Joseph's ABC in Newport. So, good opportunity for him this to, uh, to shine under the lights uh, as well. Um, two or three of these Russians on the bills, we've seen them in against Cyrus Patterson, and Callum French, they can hold their own. They're, they're better than their records. 100%. Yet. All 100%. of them. Let me tell you now, Vaz and Fakulin, they are. Honestly, they can fight. It's just you've got to take them out of their rhythm straight away. Get them uh, to where you want them. Because if you let them get into the fight, they're very, very tough men to beat. Uh, well, we saw Ben Crock away in a couple of fights ago. Uh, Kieran Jones, another one of Gary Lockett's fighters, is also in action tomorrow night before the bell. He's ready to weigh in as is uh, his opponent, uh, Basim Mamadol. So let's head back over to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, the weigh-in continues our next contest. Four rounds in the middleweight division. Now making his way to the stage, he's a 21-fight veteran fighting out of Southampton by way of Perm. Please welcome Vasif Mamadov. Mamadov. And his opponent now making his way to the stage. His young professional record, a perfect one. Three fights, three victories, one of them coming by way of a knockout. He fights out of Turraberth, Hengoid, Wales. Please welcome Kieran Jones. Jones. Now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome Vasif Mamadov. One sixty four point two five for Mamadov. One sixty four point two five. And out of the scale, the undefeated Kieran Jones. One sixty three point eight for Kieran Jones already. One sixty three point eight. Kieran Jones, Vasif Mamadov, four rounds, middleweights, matchroom boxing from Cardiff, Wales, live on the zone. So Vasif Mamadov goes up against Kieran Jones uh, from Hengoid, about 15 miles north of Cardiff. Um, very, very good amateur, went uh, up through the levels of jo uh, junior youth and, and senior level, yep. Commonwealth Games, uh, world champs, things like that. Very, very good fighter indeed. Um, had about three years out with an elbow injury, and Gary Lockett says taking him. A little bit of time to get the old magic he had as an amateur back, but he felt after his last fight that it is now coming back, and obviously it is important he puts it all together tomorrow. He's a really, really good fighter. I've been impressed with what I've seen of him. Last time out stopping J uh, Jamelek, really, really good performance. And what we see from it is a very good finish.
finisher. He got he had Jamelek down, dropped him two, twice after, had the fight finished. But once he had Jamelek hurt, he didn't let him off the hook. Really good fighter. Speaking of good amateurs, Callum French back in action for a third time uh, as a professional. The Berkeley Factory keeps churning them out, doesn't it? Um, he is in action right at the end of before the bell tomorrow night, somewhere between six uh, and six thirty, um, and he's ready to weigh in. So let's head back to the stage. Our next contest to weigh in eight rounds in the super lightweight division. And now making his way to the stage, his professional record four wins at nine defeats, one draw. Presentando Las Palmas de Gran Canarias, España. Here is La Mamba Negra, Gataman, Taylor. Taylor. And his opponent now making his way to the stage. His young professional record thus far perfect. Two fights, two victories. One of them coming by way of knockout. He fights out of Gateshead, Tynan Ware, England. Please welcome Frenchy. Callum French. French. Out of the scale, La Mamba Negra, Gataman Taylor. One three seven point eight five for Gotham and Taylor. One hundred and thirty seven point eight five for La Mamba Negra. And now the undefeated fighter from Newcastle. Please welcome Frenchy Callum French. One thirty-seven point four zero for the undefeated Jordy. One thirty-seven point four zero for Frenchy Callum French. French versus Taylor, eight round super lightweights, Cardiff Wales, matchroom boxing, live on the zone. So Callum French is first, uh, eight rounder coming in at 137 and a half pounds there, says he's going to look to creep down to uh, lightweight to challenge for titles uh, in the next year, 18 months. Uh, and then opening the bill will be Gamal Yafai, uh, return for him after a year out and a really disappointing defeat, Galau. How has he been the last 12 months? He said it hasn't been easy for him. Yeah, it's been tough, obviously. He lost, obviously, Jason Cunningham, which was a fight he was expected to win. Um, not just from myself, but from everyone else too. Um, he underperformed in that fight. Um, We've spoke many times over this. Hopefully, he could just get back now. It's been a long time coming. It's been a year. Um, hopefully, get a good win here and then smooth on. Yeah. Wait, what is the key to get back to that European title level? Then to really try and push on. Yeah, hopefully. You know, you never know in boxing. You can have a year or two off, and you come back, and you're not as good as what you thought you were or what you were before. Hopefully, Gamal still still got what he had before. He can improve on what he did on his last performance. Um, he's been working on it in the gym, and hopefully, he can just show everyone how good it. I would say he is how he used to be. Yeah, of course. Well, thanks, Galau. Anyway, appreciate uh, your time, mate. And we'll look forward to seeing you out again soon as well, mate. Yes. Um, OK, Gamal, your fight. And Sean Cairns, his opponent on Saturday night, opening the bill live on the zone. Both ready to weigh in. So let's hand back over to David Diamato. Our next contest, eight rounds in the super bantamweight division. Now making his way to the stage, his professional record, eight wins, three defeats. He has two wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Liverpool, please welcome the Comanche, Sean Cairns. Cairns. 
And his opponent now making his way to the stage. His professional record, 18 wins, two defeats. He has 10 big wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the 2008 Olympian and the former European Super Bantamweight Champion fighting out of Birmingham. Please welcome Gamal, the Beast Yafai. Yafai. And out of the scale, Sean Comanche Cairns. One twenty four point five zero for Sean Comanche Cairns. One twenty four point five zero for the young scouser. Now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, from the West Midlands, please welcome the beast. Come all you five. Already 124.9 for Gamal the Beast Yafai. Yafai V. Cairns, eight round super bantamweights, matchroom boxing live on the zone from Cardiff, Wales. So Sean Cairns drafted in at late notice, but he was prepping for a fight next weekend anyway. He is fight ready and, uh, well, it'll be a good test for Gamal Yafai, who's uh, looking to build back to European level, opening the bill on the zone uh, tomorrow night. And I'm very pleased to say Super SJ. Joe joins us. <laughs> um, Dazzling. Great to see you, mate. And he's going to be with us for the next 20 minutes, building up to the main event. A huge night tomorrow night for Joe Cordina. How big and how important is this for, for Cardiff boxing? Tomorrow. Yeah, it's massive. Obviously, you know, it brings back memories. Uh, my, yeah. my Wayne McKessler was here, seeing this atmosphere, you know, and uh, I know Joey, been working a long time for this fight. You know, he's uh, done a lot as an amateur, as a pro, and this is big stage. This yeah. is it now, and he's fighting a tough opponent, so I'm really excited to see this fight. You can see what it means as well to the city, that they're buzzing, they're turning up. I didn't quite know how big of a, a, a name Joe Well, he hasn't, he hasn't boxed at home, really, has he? He's been kind of doing the tour with the yeah. other guys in the Olympians, so maybe we haven't seen this yet, but, you know, he's, he's a popular guy here. He's got a big family, too, well well embedded into the city, but he's going to need, need that support, potentially, at times tomorrow. He is. It's going to be tough. You know, uh, Ogawa's a tough fight, uh, a big puncher with the right hand, and uh, watched him fight, and he's dangerous, so uh, Joey has to be switched yeah. on every single minute of every single round in this fight, but the crowd tomorrow is going to oh. be epic. It's going to be an unbelievable, he's unbelievable... The, he's the new Joe on the block. He is. He JC. Might he might the new been. JC. Were well, you yeah. prepping that line? He was, wasn't he? He was prepping yeah. that line. Uh, right, we don't want to delay the fighters anymore. We'll come back to chat to Joe in a moment. Uh, Sky Nicholson is ready to weigh in. She's second on the bill tomorrow night. Her opponent, former world champion Gabriela Bouvier from Uruguay, and both are ready to weigh in. Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest, eight rounds in the featherweight division. Now making her way to the stage, her professional record, 15 wins, 10 defeats, one draw, with three wins coming by way of knockout. Presentando de Maldonado, Uruguay, please welcome Gabriela Bouvier. Bouvier. And her opponent now making her way to the stage, her young professional record thus far perfect, three fights. Three victories. Fighting out of Queensland, Australia, here is the 2020 Olympian and Commonwealth Games gold medalist, Sky Nicholson. Nicholson. Now to the scale, Gabriela Bouvier. One twenty seven point three five for Gabriella Bouvier. One twenty seven point three five. And now to the scale, the undefeated Aussie Sky Nicholson.
127.5 for the undefeated Scott Nicholson, 127.5. Sky Nicholson, Gabriella Bouvier, eight rounds, featherweights, matchroom boxing, live on the zone from Cardiff, Wales. Well, after tomorrow night, this will be Sky Nicholson's fourth contest in 12 weeks. Joe, I know you had seven fights a year, your first two or three years. How important is activity at this stage of her career, setting yourself up as a pro? Yeah, very, you know, you've got to stay active. That's the main thing, you know, you just stay at the gym. It's only when you uh, win, win a world title and titles you have the novelty of uh, being able to rest a lot and prepare yourself for the next 12 round fight. So at this stage, it's all important to get our experience in the ring and she'll have a great time. You know, it'll be a great well. atmosphere for her uh, Saturday night. Uh, potentially a match from Australia uh, card in September, no doubt she'll be pushing for a place uh, on that. Dawn Smith uh, out uh, fourth on the bill, going to be fighting for a British title later on uh, this year, but he's in a uh, fight tomorrow night uh, against Maro. Uh, Heroin, uh, both fighters ready to wait until let's head back over to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen from Cardiff, Wales, the way and continues our next contest. Ten rounds for the WBC International Silver Super Lightweight Championship. And now making his way to the stage, please welcome the challenger. He's a southpaw with a professional record of 14 victories, five defeats, one draw. He has seven wins coming by way of knockout. Presentando el hijo de Santa Rosa, La Pampa, Argentina. Please welcome Mauro Peruene. Peruene. And the defending title is now making his way to the stage. His professional record thus far perfect. Ten fights, ten victories, eight of them coming by way of knockout. Here is the former English super lightweight champion and the reigning, defending, undefeated WBC international silver super lightweight champion fighting out of Sheffield, England. Here is the talented and hard-hitting Dalton Thunder Smith. Smith. Now to the scale, Mauro Bedouini. One thirty nine point six five, one thirty nine point six five for the tough RG challenger, Mauro Bedouini. And now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, the undefeated Dalton Thunder Smith. One thirty nine point eight five. One thirty nine point eight five for the man from the Steel City, Dalton Thunder Smith. Dalton Smith, Mauro Peruene, 10 rounds for the WBC International Silver Super Lightweight Championship Matchroom Boxing from Cardiff, Wales. Yeah, Darren Peruene, he's, he's been in with a good caliber of, of opposition. Ryan Garcia, guys like yeah. Avery Sparrow as well. And he's had a couple of decent wins, but at lower weight divisions, 135 and 130. And Dalton Smith looking pretty strong and ferocious. I think being out of the ring for years and having to fight Dalton Smith is 
what I'd class as hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't Well, I said, it's like work. you having three years out of the ring and having to fight Josh Mwatsi, isn't it? Yeah. 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 I mean, let, for me, Dalton Smith's one of the best talents out there. I, I can't rave any more about him. He's so good. He's got every shot in the book. He's so switched on. He's so relaxed. The, the biggest thing for me with Dalton Smith is going to be matchmaking because he's that good. I think you could push him right forward now, but obviously you need that progression you've got to learn. So yeah. I think enjoy the ride while you can. It's going to be brilliant. OK, well, potentially British title after this, but he's got to get business done tomorrow night. Dalton Smith against Mara Pera and a uh, Zelfa Barrett is in action in our chief support boxing for the European title against Farouk Corbanov, who asked a question or two of Joe Cordina a couple of fights ago. This is uh, Chief Support live on the zone tomorrow night at the Motorpoint Arena in Cardiff. Both fighters ready to weigh in. So let's head back over to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to weigh in the Chief Support of the evening for Saturday night's big night of fights taking place here in Cardiff. As Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing is proud to present 12 rounds for the European Super Featherweight Championship. And now making his way to the stage, please welcome the challenger. His professional record, an excellent one. 27 victories, only one defeat. He has 16 wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Manchester, England, here is the former IBF Intercontinental Champion and the reigning Commonwealth Super Featherweight Champion. Please welcome the Brown Flash, Zelfa Barrett. Barrett. And his opponent now making his way to the stage. He is a defending champion. His professional record, 19 wins, three defeats. He has three wins coming by way of knockout. Originally from Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan, and now living, training, and fighting out of Verviers, Belgium. Please welcome the reigning and defending European super featherweight champion, Farouk Korbanov. Korbanov. And now to the scale, Brown Flash, Zelfa Barrett. 129.9 for Zelfa Barrett, 129.9 for the Mancunian Brown Flash. And now to the scale, the defending champion, Farouk Korbanov. One twenty nine point one five for the defending European champion Farouk Korbanov. Farouk Korbanov, Zelfa Barrett, 12 rounds for the European Super Featherweight Championship. Chief support, matchroom boxing, live on the zone from Cardiff, Wales. Spicy stare down between these two because they know the opportunity that may await them in victory tomorrow night, a, a potential crack at the winner of our main event. And we are just moments away from watching Kanichi Agawa, the IBF World Super Featherweight Champion, and Joe Cordina weigh in. Um, Joe, you remember your first world title shot, no doubt, uh, against Chris Eubank. You were always, you were billed as the, the boxer, he was billed as the puncher, but of course you got the early knockdown in that fight. Yeah. Sometimes it's easy to put labels on, on certain fighters. Do you think Joe Cordina could surprise a few people tomorrow? Well, he has to. Yeah. yeah, he has to surprise a few people tomorrow. Um, he's going to be Tessa and Charlie Waters. The same with the boss, Chris Eubank. First, probably the worst thing I did was drop him in the first round, yeah. try and knock him out every single punch. Four rounds, I was I was so tired. <laughs> I'd, I'd be honest, right? I'd be knackered. But um, do you know what? You just keep pushing and pushing through. He's going to go through the pain barrier tomorrow. He's going to go through the trenches, possibly. And that's what win the world title is all about. Yeah, of course it is. So if he has a big moment early, it's, it's important for him to stay calm. Is that what we're yeah, saying? Yeah, I think so. Look, it, uh, 
for somebody who's only had the amount of fights he's had, he's very experienced. I don't think yeah. he will empty the tank or anything like that. I think he's switched on. Tony will be in his ear saying, look, don't do anything silly. But I just think it's so important that he gets it right. He can't switch off Saturday night. He has to keep cool as well. I think it's not getting too excited. You know, yeah. when I boxed you, I got too excited. And the experience, I realise, you just take your time. But that comes with experience of world yeah. title fight. So this is his first world title fight. The pressure will get to him. It's about managing that pressure, making the crowd work in your favour, and just do what you did, do what you yeah, do in exactly. the training. Lisa Box, use his feet, be clever against his opponent. All right. Imagine well, it. from two men who've been there and done it, can Joe Cordina make it uh, a 13th world title for uh, Wales in their boxing history? He's about to weigh in ahead of the night of his life. Tomorrow night, Kenichi Gawa, Joe Cordina, our main event in Cardiff. Let's hand over to the stage. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is wonderful to see everybody here today. It's Jubilee weekend, and we are in City Hall here in the capital city, Cardiff, Wales, for the official weigh-in for a big night of world championship professional boxing taking place here on Saturday night at the Motor Point Arena. And it's now time to weigh in the main event of the evening. It'll be live on DAZN and sponsored by Betfred and JD Sports as Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing in association with Tekken Promotions are proud to present 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF Super Featherweight Championship of the World. And now, welcome to the stage, the challenger. His professional record, a perfect one. 14 fights, 14 victories, eight of them coming by way of knockout. He fights out of Cardiff, Wales. Saturday night, he'll be making his first attempt at a world title. Here is the 2016 Olympian, the former British lightweight champion, the former Commonwealth lightweight champion, and the reigning and undefeated WBA Continental Super Featherweight champion, the Welsh wizard, Joe Cordina! Cordina! And his opponent now making his way to the stage. He is the defending world champion. His professional record, 26 victories. One defeat, one draw, one no contest with 18 wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, here is the reigning and defending IBF Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Kenichi Crushright Ogawa! Ogawa! And now to the scale, the challenger, the undefeated Welsh wizard, Joe Cordina. One twenty nine point nine five for the challenger, Joe Cordina. One twenty nine point nine five for the Welsh wizard. And now to the scale, the defending world champion, Kenichi Crushright Ogawa. 129.55 for the defending world champion, Kenichi Crushright Ogawa. 129.95.
Ken Itching, Crush Right Ogawa, Joe, the Welsh Wizard, Cordina. 12 rounds for the IBF Super Featherweight Championship of the World. Matchroom Boxing in association with Tekken Promotions, live on the zone from Cardiff, Wales. So both making weight, we have a fight. Cordina slightly under the allowable weight limit of Gower. 129.95. That is how oh. you do it, Darren Barker. Oh. Oh, honestly, I'm buzzing. Just the next to Joe there, Joe. Come on, I love a stare down. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Just bringing a few memories back for you, Joe. Oh, definitely. You know, um, look at the Joe. He's, he looks confident. Agawa looks confident. I'm just really excited for this fight. I think it's going to be a fantastic fight. Yeah, it's just who gets it right now. I think they're, they're both tremendous the fighters. It's who gets it right tonight. What does it mean to you to have so much support here this afternoon at the way? Well, it's a big, it's a big, um, this is just for a win. This is the first time I've ever been here. I just want to say a massive thank you for everyone who turned up today, turned up for your workouts. Normally, I see you all here on Saturday, but truly, this is, uh, this is amazing. And it's, uh, it's a proud moment for me to bring Thank you very much, everyone. We know Kenichi Ogawa comes here with a great reputation. What is it going to take from you to become the next Welsh World Champion? It's going to take something that I haven't shown before. So, yeah, it is. I'm going to have to dig in. I'm going to have to butt down on my gum shield, dig my toes in, and pull something out of the bag. Yeah, that I haven't shown before. So, um, he's a tough fighter, but he's got to expect something that's coming back. Uh, from me also when he's going to be a tough fight a tough night for him also and what what would it mean to you to be walking away from the motor point arena on saturday night with that belt around your waist yeah it's amazing obviously i seen robbie regan earlier you got joe carl zaggy right by there and uh, um, a former gym mate of mine um darren Barker by there who's also been an ibf champion of the world um and to have them stand in a room that's motivation for me seeing robbie regan here eddie avoff here that was uh, another a big motivation for me and seeing everyone here also. Um, it's, a, it's been a goal of mine to become a world champion. That goal haven't changed. And Saturday night I will become the, and the new. And the new? And the new IBF world champion. We wish you the best of luck, Joe. Thank you very much indeed. Ladies and gents, give it up once again for Joe Cordina. All the right things there, lads. Joe, he said he'll, he'll have to show something that he hasn't before, but that is what world title action and, and we're coming to world champion is all about, isn't it? Yeah, like I said earlier on, he's going to have to bring something else to the table because he'll be tested like he's never been tested before. Like I said, Ogawa's a big puncher, so he's going to get caught, you know? Yeah. That's going to happen. It's how he's going to respond when he does get caught. But I believe that his training has gone great. With Tony Sims, he looks right up for it. He's got a home support in Cardiff, yeah. and hopefully it's destiny for number 30 Welsh world champion. But Darren, how important it is the start for Joe tomorrow night? You've got to earn a Gower's respect because, as we've heard, Barry Jones and yourself talking throughout the week, he's going to be trying to apply that pressure early. How important is it for Cordina? Yeah, look, we've early. spoken about this a lot, haven't we, in the build-up to this fight. But for me, I think uh, a disciplined performance is required. I think positioning in the ring is so important. When you're fighting the bigger puncher, you don't want to get pushed back onto the ropes, into the corner. I think taking that little step back, getting back to the middle of the ring, plenty of feints trying to draw out the lead from the bigger puncher. I think it's just about being switched on. You've got to show a lot of different variation. You can't be predictable against someone like Agawa. So I think, again, look, I use the word once more. Discipline is what you need, a disciplined yeah. performance from uh, Joe Cordina. All right, gents, thank you very thank much. You. Joe, we're going to swap you out for Eddie Hearn. Uh, so thank you so much for your company. We'll see you as part of the see team uh, tomorrow night. Pleasure to have you, Joe. Yeah. Thanks very much. Because yeah, uh, I will be in the studio with uh, with Laura Woods tomorrow night. Eddie Hearn, of course, joins us as well. What an atmosphere for a weigh-in, Eddie. And this all screams big fight tomorrow yeah, night. Yeah, and what a fight as well, by the way. Can't wait. Both guys in unbelievable condition. You know when it's a good fight, when you've got you... You and Joe Calzaghi all filming the way in. <laughs> yeah. like, the look yeah. on your faces when yeah. Agawa got on the stage was as, as if to say, this is a real fight. There's some pressure on him, isn't there? But he seems ice cool, Agawa. Yeah, but he's kind of like an old school fight, you know, where, where a kid from his local city fights a really recognised, respected mm -hmm. world champion. And he's got it right in front of him, Joe Caldina, but it's a very, very tough fight. I love everything that Joe's saying. Yeah. Really sensible, you know, said, look, I'm going to have to show something that I've never had to show before tomorrow night but I believe I'm good enough to do it and I'm going to have to stand at times take risks trade and he will because I don't feel that he can box off the back foot 
against Agawa for 12 rounds. He's strong, he punches very hard, and there'll be times in this fight where we'll all have our, you know, our hands in our mouths yeah, or yeah. wherever they'll be, yeah. and, and, and worried for Joe Baldina because he's very dangerous, Agawa. He's a respected, recognised world champion, but Joe is, a, is an excellent talent. Well, look, we find out how good he is, don't oh, we? I mean, what that. an apprenticeship he served as yeah. an amateur going through uh, as a novice pro. He hasn't put a foot wrong yet, and it's this moment now where we find out how good Joe is. What I will say is, how much this means to Cardiff. Yeah, cool. like, I, I, if I'm honest, I wasn't expecting yeah. this sort of turnout. No. I think it's brilliant. If Joe goes to win this... Oh, and but then... this is what you need. You know, it doesn't matter whether it's Cardiff or Newcastle or Liverpool. You need a flag bearer yeah, for boxing yeah. in that city. Right. And it's really been missing that here for a long time. You know, Lee Selby was quite a few years ago now. Mm. You know, he boxed around the world, didn't really yeah. box much here in Wales. Nathan cleverly kind of did the same as yeah. well. I feel like Joe Caldina is a great flag bearer. You know, really good man, yeah. good, 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 I say kid. You know, he's a, he's a man. He's a good role model, you know, and he, he, he can carry the boxing in Wales on his shoulders. And this is... Sometimes you get a world championship where it's, you know, people talk about weak belts, people talk about weak champions, vacant championships. This is a fight where if Joe Caldina goes and he's victorious on Saturday, yeah. he is a recognised, respected world a champion. Solid champion. And it, but I will say time and time again, probably the one thing missing from Joe's development was the next fight in between. Yeah. You know, and it's such a massive jump from the level that he's mm. been boxing. Korbanov is the toughest fight of his career so far, I think, and Zelfa Barrett fights him. This guy is so many levels above Korbanov. But Joe is also so many levels above yeah. Korbanov. Yeah. He's just got to produce it on the night. But I'm so excited. It's a brilliant fight. Brilliant, brilliant. fight. You know, technically, physically, mm. mentally, emotionally. One of them, I, I think we'll see a bit of everything. Yeah. You could see both fighters getting dropped. Yeah. You could see a bit of everything, you know, ebbing and flowing. I, like, honestly, I can't wait. I'm going. I've, I've changed my mind, right? Go on. And, I, you know, you, you do this in the build-up because you start losing your marbles. <laughs> I'm going for a Joe Caldean and by stoppage. Wow. Are you really? yeah. And I didn't, you know, this fight, when you analyse it, it's the, similar to many fights, isn't it? Joe Caldina on points, Kanichi Agawa by yeah. stoppage, course, yeah. right? I'm going for a Joe Caldina stoppage. Well, we just talked to Calzaghi about his first fight against Chris Eubank. He wasn't expected to put him down early as, as he did. He said he felt that was actually a bit of a mistake because mm. it left him without a gas tank in, in yeah. round four. If Caldina does have a moment early, it's going to be important for him to stay calm in that fight. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you look back to the Fuzili fight, there are some similarities between Fuzili and, and Cordina in that they're both, you know, tricky. They can be a little bit awkward at times. Joe has chose to probably trade a little bit too much in some fights yeah. because I don't think he was fearful of the opposition. But if you go back to the Fuzili fight, he was having some small success early. And I think it'll be like that for Joe. I think I expect Joe to box Agawa's head off yeah. for three, three or four rounds. And I expect Agawa to just force the pressure, you know, cut off the ring. And that's where Joe is going to have to mix it up. I think to box off the back foot against Agawa and just get, you know, Pressured, exactly pressured, what I pressured. Said. Ring positioning in this fight yeah. for Joe is so important. You can't be backed up. That's exactly what Gower wants to do. You've yeah. got to get straight back to centre ring, get beyond the jab, plenty of feints, try and draw out the lead. If he can do it, like I've been saying, I've said it about 100 times this word, I think the key component for Joe winning this fight is being disciplined. Mm. Can't yeah. switch off for a second. Mm. And, and Darren can't has... let the atmosphere that you said saw today yeah. Yeah, but of course get it, involved. It could work in his favour if he puts a few rounds in the bank early, Joe, uh, and Nagawa starts to feel like he's chasing the fight, knowing that get you know he might not get the yeah. decision yeah. at home. It starts to make he's him a reach. He's a sharp and... puncher, Joe. You know, I, mean, yeah. I know he's not a devastating puncher. Yeah, 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 but he, you know, and he's a sharp, yeah. crisp puncher. Yeah. And if Nagawa's walking, walking him down, yeah. that's perfect for Joe. Yeah. But... I can't wait. Fantastic Hell of a fight. fight. Uh, the most point of reading in Cardiff tomorrow night. Eddie, Darren, thanks for your company. Uh, and we'll be with uh, Joe Kazagi on the broadcast team as well tomorrow night. Sky Nicholson, Gamal Yafai, Dalton Smith, Zelfa Barrett, and of course, Joe Caldina and Kenichi Agawa contesting the IBF Super Featherweight title on the zone, live around the world from Cardiff tomorrow night. We will see you on fight night. My main goal is to become a world champion. I'm ever so close now. I can literally touch it. All I've got to do is grab it. Regarded as one of the most talented boxers in Britain. Ogawa! What a power wow. punching display from Kenichi Ogawa! Beautiful brutality. The new IBM Super Featherweight Champion of the World. Standout, eye catching performance from Joe Cordina. Is this a new stage of his career?